Hello guys, welcome back. In today's tutorial, we are going to go over how you guys go about creating a custom model in place using the blend option. So the first thing um, is you guys wanna choose which view you guys want to be in. Um, so you guys can normally be in a level plan view or you guys can be in one of your elevation views. It just depends on what you guys are trying to create. So I'm gonna go ahead and stay in my level one plan view. I'm gonna go up to my architecture tab to get going, go over to my component option and I'm going to click on the fly out and click once on model in place. Once I click on model in place, um, my family category and parameters box will show up. This is where you guys want to choose what it is that you guys are actually creating in the model space. So you guys have a lot of different options you guys can choose from. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just choose generic model for now and hit OK. Um, you guys also have the option um, once you select your category, um, you guys can choose to name your model as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave mine at generic model one, but by all means, um, make sure you guys are naming um, what you guys are creating. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Once I hit OK, my entire menu at the top changes, right? Um, and we see our red X and our green check mark. So that just lets us know that we have to click one of these options to completely come out of um, this tool. So just kind of keep that in mind when you guys are um, using these tools. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go up to my menu. I'm going to go under my forms portion and I'm going to select my blend option. So I just want to click once to go into that tool itself. And again, it will give us that red check mark and green, I mean, sorry, that red X and that green check mark. Um, so we will have to select one of these options to come completely out of the blend tool itself. The next thing you guys want to do is come over to your properties and you guys want to choose how high you guys actually want that model to um, be at. So right now we have it at one foot. I'm going to go ahead and change this to 15 feet just so that we can really see the difference there. And I just want to click in that box and I want to type in that height and hit enter on my keyboard. You guys also have the option to choose where you want it to begin. So first end, normally this is going to be zero, but if you do want that um, model to come off of your um, base plan at um, any height, you guys can type that dimension in. So if I wanted that to start at, let's just say two feet off the ground, I would type in that two feet um, here. So that is an option. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at zero. Um, but um, by all means, you guys feel free to change this if it um, depends on what you guys are creating. We also want to make sure that our visible box is checked marked as well, just to make sure that we have that um, graphic visible um, when we come out of this tool. And then the last thing is you guys want to make sure that you have solid underneath solid or void. So um, you guys can choose to make this a... Um, void um, component if you want it to um, and it that just means that it would subtract from any other component that it is a part of so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at solid for now because nine times out of ten that will be um, how you guys are using this tool so once you guys have um, looked at your properties over here you want to come up to the top and um, just a couple things you want to look at here. So the first thing is what mode you're in. So remember, when we are creating a blend model in place, that means that Revit is taking two shapes that we draw within our model space and blending those things to create a shape, an overall shape. So what Revit is going to ask us to do is tell it what is that base shape going to look like and what is your top shape going to look like so those are going to be the two things that we are drawing within um this space right now so right now revit will give you the option to edit top right so you will see edit top but the confusing thing about um 
this tool is whatever you see here is not what you guys are working on so when it says edit top that means that if i come to my model space right now i will be working on the base shape which means what is the shape going to start off looking like right so that can be a little confusing starting off so just know if you guys see edit top which is normally what it will default to starting off that means that you guys are drawing your base first and once you guys draw your base you will click on edit top which you will go into edit top mode which will then be the top shape all right hopefully you guys got that <laughs> um so once we have that um mode selected um, which it revit again will select that for us i'm um, starting off we want to go over to our draw option so this is how we want to draw our first base shape so i'm just going to um, choose this polygon just to give us something um just kind of a, a cool little shape to go into so i'm going to select that one time once i select it one time i'm going to come to my model space i'm going to click once to set that shape down and i'm just going to scale it out let's just say to 28 feet i want to click a second time and that will set that base shape down once i have that shape set down and created i want to then go back up to my top menu and click edit top once I click edit top, you guys will notice that it changes from edit top to edit base here at the top. Again, whatever you don't see up here is what you actually are working on here in the model space. So we are now working on our top shape on what we want that to look like so i just want to do something a little different so let's just do our circle here and we will just create kind of a circle shape here let's just say we'll go out to 16 feet and again i clicked once to start that shape i moved out with my cursor and i'm going to click a second time um to set that down Right. So once I have that second shape created, I also have my base and I don't need to make any edits to the base. I'm going to go ahead and click my green check mark. That will bring me out of the blend tool itself, but I also have to go ahead and click finish model to completely come out of the model in place tool itself. So I'm going to click that finish model at the top that will bring me back to my model space and to see what was created i'm just going to go to a 3d view and once i go to my 3d view i'm able to see the shape that i created so again um, what revit will do with the blend tool is it will try to blend those two shapes together as best as possible so we obviously created that polygon as our base we created the circle as our top and revit just did its thing with what it thought we were trying to create there so again um this is kind of a cool tool to kind of play around with to see kind of what cool shapes you guys can come up with um when you guys are doing this but that is pretty much the gist of how you guys go about using the blend um model in place tool um, thank you guys for joining me on today's tutorial and um, if you guys found it helpful, um, please hit the like, hit the subscribe um, and please feel free to leave me a comment on recommendations on videos you guys would like to see. Um, I appreciate all of you guys and thank you for joining me today.